Welcome back to the shop. Uh, I was watching some YouTube videos and one popped up that was from David Picciuto where he made this really simple dowel uh, jig to drill holes for 3 8 inch wooden dowels. And I love that design, but I really wanted to explore making it more like, a, more like an heirloom tool that you would keep in your shop. And I thought it would be really cool to make it out of like decorated brass. Um, so if you look at what his tool is, it could really be broken into two pieces. You have this flat piece that sits on the top of your wood, and then you have a, a, a wooden uh, chunk that, that actually serves to hold your drill bit straight that bumps up against your wood. And I thought if that top piece was brass, then you could keep that forever and, and replace the um, wooden part of the jig over and over and over and over with different sizes or as it wore out, etc. So I'm going to make that brass piece that goes on the top if I've got enough brass. I don't think I do, so it may have to be aluminum. Let's get started. I modeled this in Autodesk's Fusion 360. I wanted to keep it simple, but I also wanted to make it pretty. So you'll see I've got some unnecessary curves here, a built-in pointer, some engraving of cool little scroll work. All in all, it's a pretty simple file though.
So I learned this cool trick from watching John Saunders at NYC CNC where after you do your engraving pass you go over with the Superfly right just just right above the surface to take off that um, the little bit of a uh, I can't think of the word all of a sudden the edge when the when you it, when you engrave you have a I can't think of the word oh well take your Superfly you go right over it to take off that tiny bit of a burr. Burr! Burr! That's the word, a burr. Jeez. I'm gonna use my Superfly to take off the burr, like John Saunders did in his video. So I just manually jogged the Superfly across, and unfortunately I took off just a tiny bit too much, and that engrave almost completely went away. It's pretty shallow. So I thought, hey, I'll just take a second pass of the engraving. Except I set my tool offset wrong. I have plenty of aluminum, so I figured, hey, I'll just start over. This stock wasn't quite flat enough for this trick, so I actually faced out my engraving and then did the engraving again and then did the trick afterwards. Alright, it's all done. So there it is. Now, a few things. I didn't have any good wood for this, so this is just a piece of uh, reclaimed junk that I had sitting around, and it's not perfectly square, which brings up a really good point about this idea that I had of putting all the screw holes in to replace the pieces is that it's really hard. Um, like, I'd have to make a jig to make new square wooden pieces for this. So I may make some aluminum ones that I know will be square with it because I will design them that way. 
Uh, maybe? I don't know. Now the second point is that this is ridiculous and pointless and extremely over-engineered. The point of David Picciuto's video was how insanely easily you could build a jig for your dowel holes. And so I made one that was ridiculously overdone and is too complicated. But I think it's pretty and that was my whole, uh, that was my goal, was to make it beautiful. And I think I pulled that off. Alright, thanks. See you next time.